So today is a sea day. I am very excited. I love sea days. They're probably my favorite days. Today is day two of our seven day cruise on the Norwegian Escape. We have arrived on vacation with six of our friends. Kendra is family, but Kendra and Nick, and then there's Dessa and Harvey. My name is Harvey. I don't know anything about this ship yet. I have done no research. It's gonna be explore day for me. We went to this beer and whiskey tasting at District Brew House. I'm afraid I'm gonna get a little tore up after this. Tonight we're gonna to be going to Sid Norman's Poor House. Sid Norman is a rock bar. I don't know, the boys had too much to drink yesterday. Best Harvey Wallbanger that I've ever had. Our first port day, and we are in Port de Plata, Dominican Republic. I love it when you can stop at port and they have a free pool available to you that you don't have to pay any extra money. After we ate lunch at Oceans today, we decided to go check out Spice H2O. Norwegian escape? Nothing like it. Mama's ready to win some money. And Harvey is nowhere to be found. I am terribly nervous about where he's at. But it's time for us to go explore. Today I um, got to sleep in. It was apparently much needed. So the first thing we did was we kind of got around. James and I walked around, got some Bloody Marys. Very relaxing day. Um, the water's so calm here in the Caribbean today. Beautiful, smooth sailing for us. I can barely even tell that we're moving really, which is great. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know how the sea is gonna be. We started off our day with some Bloody Mary. Started off a little late, just kind of chilling out there on the waterfront. One of our favorite spots on the whole ship. The best thing about Norwegian's drink package is you can get two drinks per room key. So that's two drinks per person. So for yep. James and I, a total of four drinks at a time if we go up to the bar together. Mm -hmm. It's a nice and handy perk. <laughs> All of the activities start around seven, eight o'clock in the morning, depending on what you wanna do. There's activities all day, there's art auctions, there's classes that you can take on some cruise ships, which I'm not sure about this one, but if there is one, I'm gonna take it. Just like to-do classes, which I love, but you can do some shopping down in the shops that are down there. They're all duty-free shops. I got that one. <laughs> There's jewelry shopping, liquor shopping. Uh, if you do purchase liquor on a cruise ship, please know you cannot take that back to your room and open it. That's not allowed. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping in the liquor store down there. But you can get on the app and see what's going on today. And you can like, like put a little heart um, next to some of the items that you wanna do for the day. So I have so many things hearted. I love bingo. I even brought my carnival bingo dauber because I paid for it. I plan on winning money in bingo. I hate olives, but I love pickles. Here I go. <gasps> I want an olive. Ugh. They say that your taste buds can change over time in your life, but you need to keep trying things. I still hate olives. <laughs> we are getting ready to go to a beer and whiskey tasting. I'm afraid I'm gonna get a little tore up after this. I'm excited about this beer and whiskey tasting. I've never done one. I might have to give some uh, drinks to Brandy. It starts at one o'clock in the afternoon, so. Uh. I need to get some food in my stomach. We're gonna get some food because I'm all down for it. James is a little worried. Then we went to the Garden Cafe for lunch. Got a good window seat? Get yourself a window seat. We're just trying to get some food in my stomach. What'd you get? Lots of bread? To soak up all the alcohol. <laughs> I knew that I was probably gonna be doing half of Brandy's whiskey and beers. So I made sure I got some food. Got some food in there, you know? Bunch of random stuff. I threw some Asian on top to create a full balanced meal. Cause we're all going for the full balanced meal. And then it was time, the beer and whiskey tasting. District Brew House. That was pretty good. I was hoping to learn a little bit more about whiskey. I'm, I'm already schooled pretty well in beer. I used to do home brewing, so I kind of know a lot about that already, but I, I was interested in the whole whiskey part. I don't drink a whole lot of whiskey, but from time to time, I like to dabble. I don't really know anything about whiskey though. You know, they put some whiskey in your glass and you have little flights of, of different beer styles that you get to try. At any time, you can like raise your hand if you want more beer, you want more whiskey, and they'll, they'll keep filling up 
your whiskey glass if you want while you're sitting there. You could take advantage of that, really. It was fun. I got a little buzz. It was perfect. It was entertaining, cracking jokes and everything, and um, giving us a basic rundown about beer and beer production and whiskey production. So I got to learn a little bit. I feel like they did a pretty good job with giving you enough variety of what they had. The whiskey, there's only a few different whiskeys that we tried, but still pretty cool. I can't say that I learned a whole lot about it, but um, I drank some whiskey. We had a great time. Check it out. It was only 20 bucks, 20 bucks a person. We got a discount for being bronze status, for being like a returning cruiser. Know that you're gonna pay gratuities on top of that fee. I did take away something that was how to pour the nitro Guinness, which I didn't know. It's actually completely different than pouring a regular beer where you flip it vertically into the glass and fill up. I didn't know that. I guess at the District Brew House, they have a little photo booth there back in the corner. You could miss it. They have a wall of shame there. Hit up that booth because you could be in that wall of shame. We had a great time and then at the end of it, Kendra and Nick walked in. And then we went out and found Dustin and Harvey out of the pool deck in our swimsuits. They were all in deck 20, a sun deck that wasn't very crowded. It's gonna get away from the big crowds over on the Lido deck. Deck 20 could be a good option for you. Started talking, hanging out, having a good time, having a few drinks. Kind of just shooting the shit all day out in the sun. Drinks, the drinks were coming. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this PG-13 anymore? <laughs> drink after drink after drink, and I'm thinking like, I should probably go like see what's going on the ship. At any time, I was planning on walking off by myself and just kind of exploring a little bit, and I never ended up doing it because I was busy just getting to know everybody and now getting comfortable with everybody because I got a camera out, you know, and I'm like clashing at people's face. It's kind of weird if I'm like antisocial and then start courting everybody. Nobody would like that situation. Dessa and I made the comment that we needed some mini naps to make it late, so we took little mini naps in our chair. I don't know everyone really well here. Um, I don't really know Dessa really well. I don't know, um, well, she was sleeping, so I still don't really, but I'm getting to know Harvey. That's how it should be. And I'm getting to know Nick. But Dessa and I looked at each other and kind of giggled and decided it was time for us to vacate the premises and go get ready for dinner. I'm excited about tonight because tonight we are gonna- Tonight, where we go to sit. Tonight we're gonna be going to Sid Norman's Poor House. Which was our favorite bar to visit on the breakaway. Right before we sailed, this bar came onto the escape. I am legit so excited. The Sid Norman's on the breakaway really just set the bar super high and it was the highlight of our vacation and I literally cannot wait to experience this with friends. We're rock and roll people, can't wait. I hearted a couple things on the Norwegian app. There is karaoke tonight. There is magic shows tonight. The Choir of Men, there are a couple shows tonight. Those are all sold out. You can go and stand at the wait line, but they are sold out for our entire cruise. So we'll probably try and hit Choir of Men one of these nights. And then tonight at 10.30 is the 80s party. The 80s party is in Spice H2O. Yep, tonight is going to be a fun-filled night. We met at the Sky Bar first. A nice little bar. Um, and then we went to Manhattan for dinner. We were at the Manhattan main dining hall last night. Really pretty. Norwegian does this thing called freestyle dining. You don't have a set time or anything that you have to go to the dining hall. You don't have to make reservations or anything. You just walk up and they seat you. If you look on your freestyle daily, you can get an update on which main dining halls are opened at which time. Some of them or one of them or whatever, I believe are open in the morning. You can go get breakfast. I heard that their breakfast is really good. And so if that's another option for breakfast, if you don't want to just eat at the buffet. This is Manhattan main dining hall. Last night we were at Taste main dining. And then there's another one called Savor. Different restaurant, same menu, with a couple different. <laughs> and they basically, all three dining halls have the same menu, but like the taste and savor are just like more quiet, different atmosphere than the Manhattan dining hall. I got the bourbon bacon chicken. It was okay. Medium rare, very well done. Still tastes good, but definitely overcooked. Everything's super cute. It's really well lit. The service has been good otherwise. Harvey ordered a, a bottle of wine. We had some, some white wine going around the table. I was feeling pretty good by then. I think all of us guys were by then. So we're getting ready to leave Main Dining. I don't know if I got up to take a leak and came back or what, but I come back and Harvey's wearing this hat. I'm like, 
oh, he just like randomly put a, a new hat on. What did he have this like tucked away somewhere and just decided that he was gonna wear his hat? Turns out he found it. He found a hat under the table. It looked pretty good on him. I, like, I really would have thought that it was his hat. It was meant to be. Yeah. Harvey's got a new hat. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just like wears that the rest of this vacation. Carrying the banner like a newsie. What? Um, anybody else see that movie? <laughs> no. The newsie. Newsie. Like it's a Disney movie. From there, we go to Sid Norman's Poor House. Sid Norman's is a rock bar and they do cover songs very well. And they put their own little spin on it. They just play a bunch of cover hits. I think they have different bands on different sales, but they I think they pretty much always play the same styles of music, same kind of set list that they have on all these ships where they have the Sid Normans. Definitely go in there and check it out, see if it's your thing. If you're on a Norwegian ship and they have a Sid Normans, it is a must check out. But we didn't get to stay long. Our gentlemen have had too much to drink tonight. The ladies were upset that we were being drunk and loud, I think. The performers were singing and we could hear the art guys talking over the performers and people were not happy. Maybe we were being obnoxious. I don't know. We were really hurting their rock show. People were getting quite pissed. They were a little upset with us, I think. So um, the girls stepped out and the guys eventually followed. Sid Norman's a good place to go if uh, you want to uh, hear like a really great cover band. We'll try and hit that up another night when they're not as uh, intoxicated. Newsies! Sometimes this ship gets a rockin' and you gotta... Gotta get them sea legs going. Try and walk into any bar in North America and order a Harvey Wall Banger. And they typically don't have one option of the liquor that goes into a Harvey Wallbanger. It's called Galliano. And walk into a random bar on here in Norwegian and they have it. Best Harvey Wallbanger that I've ever had. It's delicious. You talk about a spiced, fruity drink. Best thing you can have. Harvey Wallbanger. And I picked up a new hat tonight. I got a new hat. Found it underneath the, our dinner table tonight. Drop something and found it oh, yeah sorry somebody lost their hat at our dinner table before we went sat there i dropped my phone and i went down to pick it up and there was a hat so it must just be perfect true-ish or whatever yeah yeah i'm sorry new hat best harvey wall banger i ever had this is a harvey night tonight yeah keep going so we go to this Tobacco Road, which is across from Sid Norman's there. They have a little cigar room where you could go in there and you can enjoy a cigar and smoke it. They got a humidor and everything. You can pick out a cigar. James and Harvey got a cigar, smoked a cigar in there, hung out for a little while. Get her done in the cigar bar. I'm not really a cigar guy, you know? I like to enjoy them, but I don't really know anything about them. This guy says, oh, well, you should get the ghost. $10 cigar, nice nice and cheap. They said, you know, if you're a beginner or whatever, that's that's a decent cigar. And it was pretty good. I liked it. I enjoyed old fashioned and a cigar. And from there, I think the ladies, they got tired of waiting around. And then Dessa started feeling really sick. Kendra was like tired. So we all went to bed. The guys stayed out and- We weren't ready to be done partying. The party hadn't ended yet. I just hope and pray that our guys don't end up in the cruise jail. Felt a little wrong. So uh, we stayed out for a little bit longer. I've never left James like that on vacation before, but he'll be fine. He's a big boy. Hopefully he can find our room because it's a maze to get here. Oh, kind of a maze. We went out to see what there was to do on this ship this night. We're just gonna adventure out on our own, just walk around and go find something to do. And that was when I remembered there's many bowling on the ship. At least I know there was on the breakaway. It's in the same location of where it was in the breakaway. It should be over here. So we went over to that spot to find the mini bowling and we found it. We tried to do the mini bowling and uh, couldn't figure it out at all. We swiped our card and it wasn't working for us. I think we were just too drunk because we walked away and these kids like jumped on and they just started bowling. These two little punks, either they used our cards or they just knew it more than we, we did. <laughs> to check my account. But we were all gonna just move on and go tour the rest of the boat and look around and no Harvey. He disappeared on us. He was gone. Like the wind, gone. We checked in the bathroom, but there was... Bathroom lights were off, so you knew he wasn't in there. Uh, I hope he's okay. I am terribly nervous about where he's at. 
I don't know. I figured, yeah, he probably just decided that he had had enough and went back to his room. I don't know. Boat's moving 55 knots, he said. I just hope he can swim. So we decided to go to Oshi Hands and get something to eat. We're at Oshi Hands. I'm about to dominate this salad. Probably not even taste it. I'm going to eat the shit out of it. They're supposed to have some really good chicken wings at the Oshi Hands. So we went there and we got the chicken wings. Who sells them as a half a dozen? Are we in elementary? I want 16. I got the hot. Nick got the barbecue. Chicken wings, pretzel bites, and the Reuben. Freaking delicious. Unbelievable. Chicken wings, one of my faves, and they did a good job on the Reuben, too. It was getting late. I was drunk. I think we had all had enough. So uh, we went in. We were done. That was it. I am heading back after a good sea day. Harvey, I don't know what happened to him. I'm hoping he made it back. I don't know for sure, but I think he's okay. It just... Oh. I'm figuring out where our room is. Kind of amazed, but... Oh, I know. Good night tonight. Getting to know the guys. Everyone's getting to know each other, and that's what tonight was all about. Went to bed and woke up with a hangover. Our first port day, and we are in Puerto Plata, the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I'm excited to see Puerto Plata. Apparently they have like a pool with a lazy river and a swim-up bar at the port. Well, I think the rest of the group wants to go hit up a beach or something. We are here from nine to five, so it kind of gives us a pretty decent time. There was a waterfall excursion that we wanted to do, but everybody's waterfall excursions got canceled, so we didn't get to do an excursion, which is okay. We have um, an idea for what we want to do on the other port, so I'm excited for the next two days. James and I went around this morning when there was no one on the ship to just kind of explore the ship. This ship is massive, but everything's relatively easy to find. There's maps everywhere you can use. We take the steps a lot just because elevators take a long time, but we haven't had to wait long lines for anything, for a beer, for food. They've done a great job at serving and then getting people out of there. So, so far, what I've noticed about this ship that's um, a little bit different than some of the other ships that we've been on. I'm assuming the breakaway was like this too, but I just hadn't been on any other cruises at that time. The hallways are very narrow and even the common areas like out in the Lido deck and everything, everything's like the walkthrough areas are seem not as wide. It seems that way anyway. I feel like it's not as wide as some of the other ships that we've been on. The design can make it feel even more crammed, but I'm gonna have a good time. If you want the hot tub or a swimming pool, the port day is the day to do it. Because uh, you've been to the port and you don't plan on checking it out or you heard it's unflattering or whatever, a good time to enjoy the ship and all of its amenities are on your port day. Because everything's not as crowded. A lot of people are off the ship. We are on at the Waves Bar up top on deck 17. Isn't the Waves Bar below us though? There are two different bars, but there's one on the bottom level on 16 and then up on 17 right above it. We're gonna catch some entertainment, like Howl at the Moon, the Dueling Pianos, maybe a comedy show if there is one. But yeah, there is no real plans tonight. The only plan that we have is I booked dinner for 9.30 at Saber. It is beautiful out. The water is beautiful but it is a very long walk <laughs> to the port. But let's just admire the painting on our ship. Look how beautiful that is. They got those little cart thingies. You can get a little a free ride out of the port if you want. We chose to walk. We walked and Brandy was like, Phew, we're taking one of those back next time. It was nice, nice port. Lots of shopping. There was like a couple swimming pools. Uh, there might've been more swimming pools. I don't know. I don't think we walked around the whole thing, but I think we got through the majority of it, right? It's, for the most part. The first pool I noticed was uh, that we walked past was a little packed. There was a swim up bar there. We kept walking. We were looking for Dessa and Harvey at the time, so. We came down a little bit further to the Lazy River area. Just keep walking. We went down and there's another pool. It's got pretty hammocks. And I actually think I like that pool better anyway. Yeah. Dude, I love that they have pools. I love it when you can stop at port and they have a free pool available to you that you don't have to pay any extra money. There was also a bar over there, but it wasn't a swim up bar. You had to get out of the water to get your drinks, but it was like right there. Well, we met up with Dessa and Harvey. It was nice to see that Harvey was alive. Here we go. Where we were at that pool, you just grab a seat that's available and there seemed to be more of them available right there at that pool than what there was at the first pool that we passed. There isn't a shortage of chairs, it doesn't seem. Beers were anywhere from like seven to eight dollars, something like that. You were getting a mixed beverage, about 10 bucks you were gonna pay. Credit card and cash accepted. Jump in. Come on. It's really cold. Peer pressure. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm flat footed. Dip down and then you'll be good. No, just dip down. Oh, okay. Pretty much just hung out at the pool all day and then we did the Lazy River. We're gonna go to the Lazy River and we just got some new beers. But then we realized you can't take beer into the Lazy River. A guy, one of the lifeguards just made one of the ladies get out and put her beer down. So we have to finish these beers. But they have a beautiful Lazy River here in Tana Bay. And they have a nice pool. Beautiful landscape. There's mountains here behind me. The Lazy River there, wow. All right, so we're gonna get in this lazy river. A lazy river means I get to be lazy. <laughs> I might even take a nap. Gotta prepare for tonight. Cause unlike the gentleman, we are gonna make it through the night. The gentleman struggled last night. What, you guys didn't make it, we made it. What I mean, I guess about? it depends on your definition of making it. You made He's it chatting. so you don't remember your whole night is what you did. Floating around here in the lazy river. Today, I'm feeling pretty lazy. That was a really cool lazy river. It was long. There were lots of interesting little things. Lazy river is beautiful. Lots of different terrains that you go through. Coolest lazy river I've ever been in. Very relaxing, even though I have to be pushed and pulled to get where I want to go. <laughs> well, then my feet in the water. I think the port itself is beautiful. There's a lot to do on the port. You don't have to leave the port, which is not normal, I feel like. Unless you want to do just shopping, but this there's a lot of places to shop too. Yes, there are. This one has a pool, lazy river, bars everywhere, beach lounge areas that you don't have to rent. Yeah, Tiano Bay is a nice little little port. I like it. It's beautiful. We're getting off right here. Definitely gotta check out that lazy river. Go around it at least once because it was pretty cool. Nice relaxing day at port. So I had sand on my feet. I went down to dip my feet in the lazy river and fell right in. Kind of embarrassing, but wish I would have had it recorded. Nick and Kendra, they did the monkey excursion. Went to Monkey Island and got to hold little baby monkeys. I guess like these little monkeys and they like climb all over you and stuff. I don't know why I watched a video about it. I don't know much about it. I'll have to ask them. Amazing. There was an alpha in there. I think his name was RJ. Don't mess with him. Very big, big monkey, strong monkey. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh, he's not camera shy. We stopped at one of the souvenir shops there, got some shirts for the kids. It's lots of shops. It's a beautiful port. It is very well cared for. You can tell there's trees everywhere. Harvey ended up getting himself a, a coconut with rum in it. So he wanted to finish that off before he got back on the ship because I don't think they let you bring it back through. Done? <laughs> it's cute. Oh, we took the little buggy things. You can jump on for free and they'll take you from, from one end to the pier to the other. So we drove back and we, we ended up passing Harvey and Dessa on the way back. We got back on the ship and we were hungry. So we went to Oshihan's because I really like that place. I got a fish sandwich and six hot wings. It was delish. They were delish. And then I ate some of Brandy's, which she got some nachos and some spicy chili wings and those were also delicious. I ate most of her her wings. She had a coney dog. She liked her coney dog too. She, she thought she was hungrier than what she actually was. Delicious. And then you got what? Irish coffee? Cause I think it's open all night long, all day long, all day and all night, all day and all night. Oh, she hands and it's just got that food that when you're drinking, you just really love to indulge in. What did they get, Harvey and them? They got the sausage sliders or something like that. Um, yeah, those look really good. I wasn't gonna try theirs cause I was like, I'm gonna come back and get those. It's a cool place, I love that it exists. I like that they had that on this ship. After we ate lunch at Oceans today, we decided to go check out Spice H2O and like watch the ship pull away from the dock. Spice H2O is the adults only part of the ship where there is a, you know, a couple hot tubs. There's a big screen where they'll play movies and stuff. I think they might have certain events and certain nights and then they have a bar back there. It's pretty cool up there. There's like a nice little grotto for you to sit in. It's adult only. There's big screens. There's that's also where they have movie night, I do believe. Just kind of a little secluded area. But we stood at the edge of the railing and watched the boat hold away. It was kind of cool. But there's a teen area and the arcade are also back there. If you're on 17, just walk into the back. Walk through these doors, you will walk past them on your way through. Arcade in Teen Center for them teenagers. So we are here at Favor Restaurant. It's a complimentary restaurant. I made a reservation for 9.30, but you can typically just walk in. You'll just have to wait a little bit. Got drinks at the mix bar outside of the Favor restaurant. James got a whiskey sour and I got a vodka soda with light on the vodka and lime. 
and it tastes like rubbing alcohol. I feel like my mouth <laughs> literally could shoot out fire. Our other friends all called it a night, a little early tonight. I think being out in the sun for everybody was just a bit too much. So we're gonna do our own thing tonight, then probably go in a good bag. From 12 to seven, we go to St. Thomas tomorrow. So I would like to get up early, kind of go. But I got the steak and James got the flounder and I got a Caesar salad and he got a soup. I got a dessert that was out of this world. It was a cream cheese filled carrot cake. So good. James got espresso cake with chocolate ice cream. So all the food's really good. Service was great. We were the last ones in the restaurant, so we had to boogie it on out of there. Look, see it changes, changes colors. Mama's ready to win some money. I want some money. The last time, <laughs> it's time to win some more money. <laughs> he's laughing now, but he, later he's gonna be like bowing down to me as I win lots of money and a new cruise, so we'll see. All right, y'all, went to the casino and I won big bucks, $97.83. I'm not done yet. And he, I agreed to come back tomorrow. Cruise ships always do me well. <laughs> Last time it was what, 150 or something like that? This time we're gonna surpass that. I'm gonna be a 100 millionaire. <laughs> But overall, it was a good day. I had a lot of fun today. Really, these ladies have been kind of lame. Because the dudes were bringing the party. But the ladies, they're like, Oh, I got a headache. I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Brandy's giving me the evil eye. So, they need to kick it up a notch. And we're gonna party. Tomorrow is a port day. We are going to St. Thomas from noon until 7 p.m. Three days in a row of ports, and then a day off, and then another port. So there's a lot of port days. So tomorrow we go to St. Thomas, which I'm super excited about. That's where we went on our honeymoon. We got to learn a lot about that island. So I'm very, very excited. We do plan to go to one of the beaches there. So tomorrow's gonna be a beach day for us. It should be a good time. Then we'll go to Tortola the next day. But we're gonna try and get a good night's sleep tonight so that we can be prepared for tomorrow. And it will be a, another great day here on the cruise. Remember the night when Harvey disappeared? Yeah! Well, this is what happened. What happened when, when you I, when left? I, when I said I was gonna go to the bathroom, I- you ghost us and the lights yeah. were off. I was totally sneaking right back to the hotel room and go, I was done. So I got back, I got naked and tried cuddling in bed. Ended up falling, falling off the bed. So then I go into the bathroom, went to the bathroom and then fell face down. I, I tripped over that, the step. <laughs> and I laid face first in my birthday suit. <laughs> She's like, uh, are you okay down there? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I laid there for a while. Eventually, uh, she's like, I fell back asleep, left you on the floor. I went to the bathroom and the lights were off. Yeah, he's like, the he never went. Yeah. No, I just he lied. I told totally had chicken wings. It was great. I was done. I had to go to bed. I am ready to. Yes. Yes. <laughs>